gloomy. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk and turn it into home decor that we sell or use in our shop. And today we're doing paint a palooza because we had somebody comment the other day that she missed our paint a palooza. She's like, I'm really just here for the paint a palooza. What's all this thrifting? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, we've been a little busy and out of the country, but we do have things that need to be painted and it is wasteful to have things that you're not working on, just sitting there collecting dust. And this is Waste Not Wednesday. So paint a palooza it is. We're going to be getting some stuff done. We've done a few paint a paloozas on Waste Not Wednesday. It's happening. Yeah, it's not our first time. A little chitty chatty with you guys answering your questions. Um, we're still kind of, I know we've been back for over a week now, but I still feel like I'm getting over it. I don't know how people travel all the time because it literally takes me like a month. I'm hoping by Thanksgiving, I feel more on top of things. <laughs> well, and we did daylight savings twice because England uh, went a week before the U.S., about a week before, and it happened while we were there. And then we got home, and Sunday we had daylight savings time again. So, you know, all the fun things. All of the things. I don't really think I even noticed daylight savings time. All right, so Zeb, why don't you tell me what you're doing? I am going to mix up some milk paint for this pediment that we thrifted, it was $4. And I actually don't even remember what we're selling it for, but I think it'd be cute with chippy milk paint. So I'm gonna get started on that. Um, and then we are going to probably um, announce some share winners. I'm just gonna, Caitlin will probably text me here in the next half hour or so with a couple of share winners. So make sure you guys are hitting that share button out. All right. So I had this big oval metal clock, thrifted it a while ago. It's pretty large, but the face on it, I don't even know. I'll probably paint the whole thing. The, the gray and black's okay, but look how pixelated this fake rust blown up. I don't know. It's it's like, look up here. It looks like tomato splatter, like tomato sauce splatter um, on the clock. So I'm going to repaint this whole face. I don't know that I might do like a big uh, transfer or a stencil or something. I'm probably not going to sweat putting the, uh, the numbers back on there just because I've had many, many analog clocks in my life that don't have anything on them at all. You just know by using them enough where 12 and 3 and 6 and 9 are and you go from there. All right, sweet. Caitlin will be back here in a minute. Um, and I'll ask her when she gets back. Just a reminder that the sunflower, I wish I had some to show you, but sunflower is the milk paint color of the month. And every month there's a new milk paint color that's 35% off, which is the best deal you're going to get for milk paint. So it's always a good time if you like the color to stock up and you can buy all the way up to a gallon. And I think we can possibly even special order five gallons if there's a oh, color wow. you really love. Um, you got have like to email a, Caitlin for that because we don't carry five gallons on the website. If you got a, if you want to paint like the side of a barn or something. Yeah. So I'm actually just using Sweetie Jane because that's what I had handy. I actually ordered a while ago. It was the milk paint color of the month and I ordered a gallon. So I've got my gallon bag back there. And for those of you that use um, any kind of boutique paint to, to be able to purchase any more than a quart is pretty unique. So if you like milk paint, buying it by the gallon is the best way. All right, I've got DIY. This is White Swan. Um, you can see, let me let me show you. So sometimes we get what we call um, damaged paint. <laughs> it's not really so much as damaged as something broke open in shipping. These are, these are glued together by a pint that was busted open. Anyway, we don't resell these. We just put in a damage claim and occasionally we will them ship up. them to you for happy mail. Yeah. Happy mail. Like, you might I've been get known some. to send dented uh, waxes and stuff and paint to people because we can't sell them, but they're still usable. And who doesn't want that? The things we send um, for happy mail can be like uh, I've sent out craft kits that I did, but didn't have a spot for at my house. We have sent watch out for some stencils, uh, paint, some decoupage paper coming your way soon. That is a little bit off color. <laughs> the, yeah, the printer well, was on the fritz for like 20 prints before I caught it. <laughs> Things like that. Fun stuff. Still usable, but it's like seconds. Yeah. Vicky's talking about waiting for UPS. We've been anxiously waiting for UPS. I have this one box that's coming today that I like. 
They didn't like the way that I filled out the forms because I usually just put like home decor dishes, one box of mixed items. Worth basically. 45 pounds. <laughs> worth whatever. Well, depending on what it's worth, I put that in there. And they wanted it itemized. I was like, okay. Next time I told Zeb, we will itemize it. That's technically what you're supposed we to do. We itemized a couple of you. them. They usually just don't care when it's like the value is so low. They're like, oh, whatever. All right. So Caitlin is just going to be linking under her name because she's fixing the sound on her computer. Caitlin, would you drop the link to the milk paint that's 35% off? And I, you can also, so it's Sunflower in Sweet Pickets Milk Paint, but you can also get, I think it's Marigold in Final Finishes. And the only difference is it's both milk paint, but Final Finishes has a built-in bond that helps it not chip so much. I'm actually curious to see if this will chip because I don't know what this was painted with. I'm going to go set this out in the sunshine. It rained all day yesterday. It was like a gloomy, muddy, gross day. Um, but today we have like glorious sunshine and it's going to be like 58 today, I think. Oh, that makes me happy. Yesterday I spent a lot of time. Hey, I took pictures of everything. So sorry if what I uploaded to the website yesterday was not the best pictures. We haven't had sun in days. And I literally just laid in bed under my warm blanket listing stuff. So if you haven't checked it out, we do have a bunch of new things listed to the English finds collection. We'll do another upload today. Um, we've got like four or five boxes waiting for me. I just, it, it's like a huge ordeal to get, to get through all these boxes way well, more than I thought it would be. Well, I we went we hog could, wild. I told you we'd get it done in two weeks and we absolutely will. I think by the end of this week, we will have everything listed that we've been shipped. And then if we're, if I'm somehow missing a box, then there might be some other random stuff added, but that's pretty good. Cause usually it takes me like a month and actually there's stuff from last year that's still in the garage waiting on Zeb. So what, what stuff is still waiting on me? Don't you have more brass? Oh, a couple. There's like maybe 15 pieces. I was waiting for the last of it to sell out. Cause we still had a couple in there before I added more. Uh, and it's, it's, I think it's finally gone. And um, I picked up some while I was gone. I was very specific though. I picked up like, equestrian style or like uh there's one that i think looks like the royal seal i got the canterbury one i picked that out yeah there's there's a few really good ones that we brought home this time so sorry i've got the camera over here in case you're wondering why i'm like looking away and talking we have a question uh did this did the sink come so we are not uh, divulging any sink information we're holding that out we're trying to get for whatever reason, since we got back from England, the videos are not getting as many views. So we're trying to make them exciting. So if you want to know about the sink, it did come. We filmed the unboxing and we'll be up on our next edited video that should be up by late Thursday. If you're on the East Coast, you can watch it first thing Friday morning. We also did just upload a video about Buttercup. Um, we obviously knew right when we got back about her, about the pregnancy, about everything. And we, we put it on the Jamie and Zeb channel. So if you know, no spoilers. If you haven't found out, just go over to Jamie and Zeb on Facebook. That's right at the first of the video. It'll take you yeah. like three minutes. <laughs> you can you can find out about that. We actually have, I feel like we have a myriad of things going on. We're not ready to talk about yet. We have some fun work projects <laughs> that we're going to be doing some design work for. And um, we've got new expansions of existing product lines. So December and January... I feel like, like I'll, just I'm over here thinking that, uh, you know, oh, it's winter time. It's going to slow down no. a little and I'm going to have less projects. I feel like we have more projects this winter than we normally have in general, even in the summer. Well, sometimes it just the projects happen when the projects happen, right? Like we're waiting on manufacturers and things like that and production. But it'll be just as exciting in December and January as it was when all the fun new products came out um, in, was it August or September? Yeah. August? which I like because I feel like um, January especially can be kind of wah, wah. So it's going to be fun to have some good things to look forward to. I know that the painterly paints should be shipping soon. I need to actually do a video with them. I have some samples that Debbie sent with me that I got to do, but I know that we should be getting it here pretty quickly and shipping it out. I don't have exact dates. Thank you, Cynthia. She said I look good with my hair done. I actually just got it cut. And for the first time in years and years and years, I got some highlights and lowlights. Nothing crazy. Most people probably wouldn't notice because I really was like, I don't want to not look like me. So pre please just kind of go with my existing colors. And my hairstylist is amazing. She did a really good job. 
Well, in the summer, you get like this auburn streaks and little blonde wispies. And well, I just really feel like my natural hair gets hair like color, bleached out. <laughs> my natural hair color looks best with my skin tone. I'm just starting to get a few grays. And so she just went through and made sure those were all like tidied up, let's say. <laughs> And I was like, guess what? Uh, is that blonde I have a ton of grays, but I don't have to worry about it. It's kind of blonde. It's not like like light blonde. It's more just like a, I do have this natural color through. And you know what she did? It was fun. She did low lights. So some of the, the lighter colors you see in my hair are my own because she went through and put darker pieces to make my own natural lighter pieces pop up. She was asking me all kinds of questions. I'm like, listen, this is not my area of expertise. I'm going to tell you I want to look like myself. Just a fun kind of brighter look, but also I'm not coming in every four weeks to get it done. So it has to be something that can go six months. And she, and I'm like, do whatever you want. That's what she did. <laughs> and I did give her a little uh, direction on that. I just wanted a little bit of trim and some layers just because I had some, some of my top hair was damaged. So I put layers in, but nothing crazy. I'm really not, I try not to be super high maintenance. Much to my beautician's dismay, I do not go in as often as I should for anything. I'm All right, man. that's painted. I, I'm going, I, I mentioned it a few weeks ago before we left on our trip that I, we've been doing lots of fun blues and greens and earth tones. Um, and we've really kind of gone away from painting things white. We don't have a lot of white in the shop. And anytime we paint things white, it sells really well still. So I'm going to be painting a few more things white. I pro actually think this would have been really cute if I would have painted this navy, like navy blues. Or yeah. what's it called? What's Hey Sailor. No, not Hey Sailor. What's the one? What's the milk one? Is it navy blues? Yes. Okay. Um, but I didn't have any heavy. All right. Now I got to get my other clock. I have two clocks. I was going to strip this down. I tried to hit this with stripper. The way it was reacting um, was basically nothing happened. So I think this just might be the wood tone or close to it. Um, so I'm just going to paint this white too and bring some of that natural wood back. So Kieran has an interesting question from 81 Vintage. Did we think that the charity shops in England smelled weird? No more weird than the ones here in the U.S. No, smell like used stuff. S smell like old clothes. <laughs> um, they I weren't actually, they weren't like overwhelmingly weird no, to me the, the uk charity shops are like boutiques like they're very clean well staged like these are all mostly volunteers as far as i understand and they take a lot of pride in their window displays and they're like they just really do well and so i think that the stuff is pretty good um in the states a lot of our our charity shops or thrift stores as they're called here in the states um have perfume like they spray like desert industries sp sprays like a poof of perfume every so often to kind of mask the smell of old not stuff. new items and i don't like it like i would rather smell old items Basically, i know what you're talking like about though karen because because i feel like it afflicts anywhere where old clothing and and fabrics in general are they just hold like the smells and it's like a comforting smell to me a like, lot of them have been probably sitting in a garage forever so they could even be like i don't want to say mildewy but you know they're not freshly laundered <laughs> dirty cynthia says i hate di perfume yes can we please get them to stop the di perfume and the music i have to, that was the nice thing most charity shops in the in england did not have um music piped in some of them did but most of them did not and especially the one in saratoga springs here in utah they pipe in that music. Not only is it a pain in the butt because I have to edit every clip to reduce the background noise. And even then, so we don't I've get had to fight strikes. YouTube for copyright strikes. They're like, oh, you put music. I'm like, you can barely hear that. Um, but also, it's just obnoxious. Sometimes I feel like I have to yell at Zeb when I'm talking to him in the store because the music is so loud. Like, I know they want it to be like a fun party vibe, but bring the party down just a little bit. Maybe it's because I'm like... 41 years old and I'm not into the headache anymore, but the music's just too loud. It's not a dance party. I'm there to shop. <laughs> and not every DI has the music that loud. Saratoga Springs is probably the loudest in the area. I feel like Riverton's the best. Yeah, Riverton is great. They don't and they're usually their playing something loud. like Calm on the classical side. Is 
this is so small. I'm just going to heat gun it real quick so I can, I can't decide. I, I know I dark wax a ton of things. Maybe I'm just, I, I'm thinking just like a wet distress on this though. And then clear wax. Cause the, the light wood tone's not bad on this. It's just a little orangey and the white should help tone that back. Remember this. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you like cookies, be sure to stay tuned because we are going to do a post. I don't do a lot of collaboration or influencer brand deals because mostly I just don't care. But we like um, cookies. But I like cookies and I wanted to try this brand and they were like, oh, we'll give you four free cookies and we'll also give two boxes of four cookies to your following. And I was like, Psh, I can get cookies for me and two of my friends like sign me up. So I did a little reel today, but probably today or tomorrow, I'll do a post where if you like follow them and then tag people, then you can be entered to win a box of four cookies. And Dirty Dough, I think, is not just in Utah. There's a few places that have it. Well, the the music are... is usually for the patrons, and but they have separate. So like the workers in the back room, they have separate music piped in there. I've actually like they have speakers. They don't need they don't have to have it piped both places. The desert industry thrift stores are really big. So it's not like where they couldn't have it on in the back and not on in the front. And I don't mind that they have music. Just What the heck is all over this? It looks like a candle. I'll be back. It's like, it's like it looks like makeup. Love the coverage. I, I We've been using a lot of the cottage colors and they cover really well, but it's, it's really, they are thinner and they've got a built-in sealer. It's really hard to beat the coverage of white swan on anything. Like I've never found another white that can stack up to it. Well, um, cottage colors is self-leveling. That's why it's thinner. So yeah. it's made like when you, when you paint cottage color, it's made, to not show the brush strokes where this shows the brush strokes, so it's thicker. And ours is especially thick because we usually don't put the lids on very well. We usually use them up before they dry out, even if you don't put the lid on at all. T. Tegan says, I've walked out of stores because of the music. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only one. It's like, that's too loud. I thought I got everything off of this, but apparently I left the tag on it. So if you guys are using milk paint, just know, like, I didn't add any bond to this. It's possible it could all chip off. I always like to at least try it with the first coat and see how it reacts. And then if I think that it's going to all chip off or it does all chip off, then I'll remove the chippy paint and add some. If you're worried about chipping, don't bond. heat gun it at all. No, I'm not going to heat gun any of this. Dorito cookies are here in Dim. Where is Dim? I think, oh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Fun. Well, then you'll have to make sure you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that post. I really don't ever do things like that. But occasionally, occasionally I'll do brand deals. I actually need to, I'm like seven days late getting my Christmas tree up. Every few years I'll do a deal with um, King of Christmas. They send me a free tree and I take pictures and share it on social media. We got a big one this year. So maybe we can do that after this live stream. Yeah, we need to get it up and um, we can put it in. We usually don't full video. on decorate it until after Thanksgiving though. Well, we usually will add stuff throughout the month. I'm yeah. going to have to put it in here because it's so tall, but I'm not going to decorate it because we're going to be putting new flooring in. What well, did we get, a nine move. footer? I think it is at least nine feet. I don't get a new tree every year because I don't need a new tree every year. The kids have a tree, I have a tree, and then I put oh. another one at the shop. Speaking of Christmas trees, where'd my little box go? It's right here. Um, <laughs> if I keep getting trees, I was actually thinking it'd be fun to do like a, like if I do another one next year, I'll donate a tree to somebody that wants it. So Kathy got wind that I have trouble finding things like mugs specifically with Z's on them and, uh, sent me this. It's a Z ornament. So thank you, Kathy. I actually don't think in my whole life I've had a Z ornament. Did your mom not give you like a, I think, I, do I have your baby ornament or did you not have a baby ornament? I don't know. I don't keep track of that kind of stuff. 
It's really cute. It'll look good. We do a it's red like a and It's like a candy cane with a little hat on it, a little stocking hat in the shape of we a Z. We do like a, a red and green kind of bright, fun, classic Christmas tree in the family room. And that's going to look so cute on there, especially against it's like a white flocked tree. It's where we put all of our Christmas presents because there's not really room in the living room. So we put them in the family room. Thanks again, Kathy. Thank you. That's really cute. So I think that there is a dirty dough in Arizona too. I thought Caitlin was telling me that they were. I think they've got a few of them located around. Located in Tempe or something originally. I don't know. They're they're they are different than crumble. All of their cookies are filled. Yeah, they're like a filled like stuffed. Cookie. And they do make a gluten free. Odelia did say it needed milk, but she proceeded to eat the whole thing because finding gluten free cookies that are tasty, even remotely tasty, is like no easy task. Thank you, Christina. Christina from the Turn Legs on here. She said she just got her inkwell from us and she loves it. Oh, on the note of those inkwells, um, a couple people have messaged us and said, hey, they're broken. That's the way they're made. They're yeah, not they're breakaway inkwells. So so they blow the glass and then they break them off of the uh, the whatever that tube's called that they the straw or whatever. I don't even know that they blow them like and they just handling. break them off and then they cork, put some ink in them and cork them and they're done. Um, so they are, if you get one and you're like, oh, it's broken. Don't be sad. That's the way it's been for hundreds of years. And I know we talked about that when we showed them, but I went ahead and added in the listing and there's clear pictures of it. So you can kind of see they, they are chosen at random. I think we're currently sold out. I found one more yesterday and listed it. But if these boxes that are here are what I think they are, I know I have a couple of more that I found at an antique store that I bought separately. Um, and I will get those listed as soon as they come in. The one thing we didn't find a lot of was rolling pins. Oh, yeah. We have, I think, two more. One I'm probably going to keep, so probably oh, one more. We found some, what are those, porcelain or stoneware or I don't even know. The porcelain ones? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I probably am going to get rid of this thing that we made here and get a bigger one so I can put my porcelain one in it. So I'm going to need a bigger crock. Oh, no, a bigger crock. In the kitchen. Are you so sad? The whole kitchen's on the verge of getting redone. We yeah. got the wood flooring in finally for, and we're going to be redoing that. That might even just in like a fit of, I've still got jet lag and can't sleep might happen like randomly on a Tuesday next week. Who knows? Well, it would have been done, but they didn't get our flooring in in time. And yeah, actually we, it's good that we waited because my mom has COPD. So dust really bothers her and she's, and she's gone right for a few now. months. So now we can stay on the floors without choking her up. So it's it's a good thing that they didn't come in until now. So yeah, we ordered this wait. flooring like way back early September. It took them like a month to get it in. And by the time they got it in, it was only supposed to be a week shipment from California. But by the time they got it in, I was like, um, I'm leaving town now. <laughs> so. Isn't, um, Caitlin, can you check, were, were we gonna get a sander that plugs into the, uh, I think so. Ho the hose the so vacuum. you don't get dust everywhere because that will be handy to use. I mean, we're going to have to use a big sander too, but I actually think it might be easier but to sand it by hand on our hands. In base. doing the wood flooring, Jamie's like, are you going to put the flooring up underneath the cabinets? And I was like, I hadn't planned on it. I was, like, well, was going to remove the trim. Look but she's like, but this is, the, this is the stove I want and it's got legs. It, do it doesn't go all the way down to the floor. So I feel like we should do what so, we do with the kids when they want something. Like I want a French stove. It costs about $5,000. Mm -hmm. If I can part with some of my favorite things and raise $2,500, then we only have to pitch in $2,500. And then we can donate this stove to somebody else. Do a good deed. I declutter and get rid of some of my favorite pieces. And we have the new stove. Why are you looking away? This is the best kind of girl math. This is not good math. <laughs> and I know that I need to sell some of my copper and maybe a few pieces of enamel. I feel like it costs me all the way around anyway. <laughs> this is like my truck and tractor math. You know that, right? And you have a one-ton truck and you have a tractor and 40 so, acres. So my plan is I want to get a different tractor, sell my truck, because I only drove that truck since we got the Ranger. I've been driving that to Home Depot and everywhere, uh, even Costco, and, and uh, it, it works a ton. But 
I've driven my truck in the 14 months I've had it, a total of 4,300 miles. <laughs> it's just sitting there most of the time. And we pay quite a bit for that truck. It's a nice new one ton truck. Um, so what I want to do is just go get like an old beater truck that seats three people across the front, has a flatbed on it. We can use it around town, take it to the dump, haul lumber, whatever we're doing, pick up furniture. Um, and then since that won't really have a payment, I'll probably just buy it outright. Then I can get the tractor of my dreams. Tractor math. Tractor math. We have to actually, it all boils down to, we have to talk to our accountant. Yeah. Because if you don't do things right, you wind up paying taxes through the nose. And there's some very interesting tax laws that I don't understand. And I like to stay legal, but I also don't like paying more taxes than I have to. So our accountant has been out of town. We'll talk to him and find out what we have to do. Cause, and we do, like, everybody can attest that our vehicles are used primarily for work. Odelia actually does most of the running around in her car. Yeah. We were talking the other day because Eliza, you guys, Eliza gets her permit in April. April. And we don't let her drive our cars because they're nice. They're work cars. And they're they work really cars. are. <laughs> and we were talking about getting her something. And then all of a sudden I realized, well, Odelia is planning on going on mission for our church in September. I'm not going to just have her car sitting here. So I think what we're going to do is we're either going to like clean Odelia's car because bless her heart, cleaning is not her strong point and sell it and buy what Eliza wants or Eliza will just drive Odelia's car and we'll get Odelia something else when she gets back. Because Odelia's car, while it's a little dirty and it's got a few dents and dings, is still a really solid car. I would I would hate to sell it. I would wager half of Odelia's miles on that car that she's are driven. Are from here to the high school? Are, are running the boys to practice, picking yeah. the boys up. Hey, we need some milk. It's 10 o'clock at night. Go grab some milk. Uh, and she's happy to do it because, you know, she doesn't pay insurance or gas because we take care of that for her. I mean, she, she's starting to pay gas. She's a substitute teacher now. Yeah. And she's starting to pay. Well, it's really hard. I don't to... know if people know this. When you're a cheerleader, you your life is cheer. It's like doing three sports at once. Yeah. It's, and it's it doesn't end. Like they start in May practicing because uh, football starts in August. And they got to be ready just like the football boys got to be ready for football games. Uh, and then they go all the way, their competitions, they do all the winter sports and their competitions get done like mid-March. And so it's it's like a 10-month thing out of the year for these girls. And it's super hard to have a job while you're doing that. Yeah, our whole life revolves around it. I mean, there are kids, so that's what we do. We actually were going to go to Alabama for Christmas. But Eliza only has three days off or four days over Christmas break. Four so days. She has practice over Christmas break because they have a competition during Christmas break. Yeah, this is the way it fell. But they typically will always get spring break off because it's after comp season. And it's kind of they don't really cheer for spring sports. So they get like two weeks off. They'll have tryouts before spring break and then they'll get spring break off and then at least one or two more weeks. And then they start back up again. All right, guys, what do you think? The white with the wood coming through. It can go either way. It can go farmhouse. It can go like old uh, industrial. It could also be beachy. I think it's good. I'm putting the. I'm gonna put the frame. I'm gonna wax it, and then I'll put it back together because this is the face of it. It's like a cream color, and I think it's gonna be good. All right. I'm gonna set the milk paint aside. I actually need to add a little more water because there's some stuff to get mixed up. And I want to paint something else. I don't want to. Can do you mind putting those three pieces in the sun for me? Yes. Hold on. I don't want just, to heat gun them because then they'll chip everywhere. Hold on. What was I grabbing? Wax. I was getting wax. They said they like it. So. Well, and that's the power of uh, just painting something white and then distressing its original color back through. It can be. It it, it just goes with everything. Yeah, lucky for us, because we do drive larger cars because of what we do for a living, we stay pretty much in Lehigh or within 10, 15 minutes of this area most of the time. It's crazy to me that there's people that literally like on the daily commute an hour each way. Like I used to do that. I would be driving. Well, into you, to never an time. hour, but an hour a day. And if traffic's bad or there's a snowstorm, then I'm then I'm at an hour and a half or so. Does our oh. clock have... Um, 
glass. Yes, the little one does. Both of them. When do. Zeb gets back, I'll have him fix the camera. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm gonna paint this candlestick here. This candlestick was five dollars, and I think it's listed for thirty six ninety five. So I'm gonna try to make it special. So if you're new here, we have a thrift haul every week, and then we list stuff that will be painted. But we've been so busy that we've pretty much just been painting what has sold. So we've just got a little bit of backlog that we're catching up on. Um, so that way, we're just trying to get caught up. We're trying to buy less things that have to be painted over the next few weeks, and then we'll get caught up. You have to really do this to manage your hoard, because otherwise, it gets a little intense. Do, are we out of paint precious? Um, oh, no, we have one more. Three or four over there. I don't know. Missed the spot on this, and I'm going to second coat this face. It dried up while I was out there. It's still, it's sunshiny, but it's winter's coming. Uh, you know, we're at about 4,600 feet in elevation right here at the house. And the mountains around us are like close to 12, I think, or higher. A couple of them. Mountain Timpanogos, I think, is over 12, close to 13,000 feet in elevation. And they're close. Like they, we're, we're within like 10, 15 miles of these mountain ranges. Um, and so while it's warmer down here in the valley, we do get some pretty good storms. And I, I feel like they're coming. <laughs> Rebecca says, hey there, happy to see you're back in the thrift hall mode. We are definitely, you know what I was so uh, like impressed with in England is how much good stuff there was that didn't need painted. Yeah. I feel like we, we have really honed in the skill of taking stuff that people might kind of overlook and then making it look well in our opinion making it look better i guess we don't not everybody likes beauty's in the eye of the beholder exactly. if you don't like it that's fine i don't i don't worry about it that much it's not that deep we started as eliza <laughs> would say it's not that deep we started thrift flipping because we don't have the straight up antiques and vintage here that a lot of other places have and we do not have time to always be going to the places that have them as much as i'd love to travel to England and France and go to Texas and Ohio and back to Montana and wherever to get junk. Like we have five kids. And so we buy junk locally. And so whatever, if we can't get what we want, we just make it. I mean, maybe in 10 years when Jack's uh, out of high school, that might be our life. You know, we're going to have something else going on. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Yeah. We All simplify right. and then we add something new. So this is, <clears throat> a lot of you have seen this before, but this is kind of what we do. We batch paint, we put some stuff out to dry, we heat gun a couple things, we wax, and we just kind of start staging the uh, the projects um, in, as they go through their various steps. And within an hour or so, we usually have five, six, seven things done and ready to go. Some true old stuff is expensive. Absolutely true. What Lola wants says grandkids, oh, we best have grandkids in 10 years. I mean, Harrington will be 31 years old in 10 years, and Odilia will be... He can't be, hold the ladies off forever. He Odilia tries to will like, be 28. He's currently dating a girl that's already done with college. Um, and he won't... <laughs> he hasn't brought her by because for a long time we had a rotating door of girls. Some of it's on by. our fault, our, on us, why he doesn't bring them by. Because he used to bring these girls by that he was only going to like date for a couple weeks. And he's pretty quick to be like, yeah, we just don't mesh, and he moves on. Um, but and so we're like listen unless you're going to be like serious about this girl and we actually need to meet her like just you know <laughs> we get pretty attached pretty quickly and he has had some girlfriends that we've just like love so we're just like if they're serious then bring them by so he's been he's been waiting well and but... one time he brought this girl by we're like out in the hot tub chilling out and we'd never met this girl before and that was like our first interaction with her. And, and she was there for like 30 seconds and then they went on and did their thing. And then we never saw her again. <laughs> Will you ever bring back the sheep on the counter behind us? Um, eventually, yes. So the sheep have been a hot topic of uh, questioning. People Currently the CNC machine that I used, I can cut them out by hand, but it takes quite a while. They're pretty detailed. Uh, the CNC machine cuts them out real fast and I can do like 10 in an hour or more. It's currently in the garage, buried under a bunch of other tools. And we don't, I am done with blowing up my garage. It, it does make so. a big mess in the garage. The, the dust collection is over at the barn. So it hasn't been being used the last couple big projects that I've done. 
So really what needs to happen is I need to find some free seconds to run some power to the barn over there at the shop. And then we can move the CNC machine over there and then I can cut out some sheep cutting boards. It has been on my mind because people have been asking for months now. I would say that by January, we should be able to do something. I was hoping to do it before the holidays, but the, the next craft kit is definitely going to be something on the CNC because we haven't done a CNC in the last two. Um, and so in order to do that, we're going to have to get it to the barn because I'm done having a blown up garage. Well, I it's want to just, get it out of there fairly quickly. It's hard on Zeb to work in the garage. It's hard to live. Like, I love this business so much, but we have sacrificed a clean garage and parking in it for a long time. And I, this girl's been parking in her garage recently. And I'm like, listen, I love y'all, but it was raining all the day yesterday and she it. didn't have to get cold or wet to go get in her car. It's going to help my seasonal depression a lot to not have to go outside to get into my car. So in answer to your question, yes, we will. We actually even have the wood ready to go. So once we've got the CNC moved, we will get some done for sure. Oh. We'll try to make a, a good enough amount that anybody that wants one can Side note, non-CNC related. I have some walnut that I've been seasoning for over a year now. Um, and it's gorgeous, but it's not going to be cheap. They're going to be really expensive. But I found some shapes that I think are worthy of cutting them out. And I will probably hand cut these out. Um if you're interested in that, I could probably get, they're going to be more like primitive style, like old, but on walnut um, looking cutting boards. So that, that might be something I could do here before the holidays are up. Cause that'll only take me a couple hours. We'll see. Let's not be making offers. Let's get the floors in. Unless you think it's me pushing him to get the floors. I was complaining about the floors and he was the one that's like, no, I'm just going to buy the flooring. And I'm like, but we don't have time. Well, she was wanting us, she was wanting to repaint it. I'm like, because that's something I can do. I can push everything over, paint the floors, push it back, paint the floors. It would have gotten us through till next summer. That was my true. plan. That's true. But I didn't but want Zeb to waste the time or the money because so. it costs almost as much to paint it as it does to buy the wood flooring. And I am very excited to, yeah, we always use seconds. I am very excited to get the wood flooring in, but. I just feel like I need to say that it wasn't my idea. All right, I'm using Sandy Blonde in case anybody is wondering. Um, Sandy Blonde is close to crockery, but it's um, more gray. So I'm just, this is what I happen to have out. So I'm painting this up. I don't know what Zeb's gonna do with it after because I am not waxing this detailed. Piece. I'll probably dark wax it. It makes it look like old stone. And I'm stippling it just to get it down in all the details, but also gives it texture. Okay, this had a ton of little screws in it, this clock here. And some of the pieces are broken, so let's see how well this goes together. Yeah, I would not be surprised if Odelia has kids before Harrington, and she's many years out. Her intended is on a mission. She's going on a mission. She doesn't plan on getting married right away or getting married and pregnant right away when she gets back. So I told her we were joking, though. Um, <laughs> Honestly, we said, well, maybe when you get back, we'll just buy you a minivan with a car seat. You know, so that way she's ready when she gets back from a mission. She, she didn't think that was she funny. She didn't think that was funny at all. It kind of reminds me of my big fat Greek wedding when they got a bassinet for a wedding present. <laughs> like, you know what? Grandparents are, they're good at letting their intentions be known. It's taking a long time. I'm starting to. Starting, are you starting to lose interest in this? Yeah, that happens. Oh, I hope they're getting the siding up for. Her. What kind of paint would you recommend to paint some lampshades? Um, you can use DIY paint. We've it used, sticks to fabric. We've used DIY paint a lot. Just know, like I would paint it and then throw it on there and see if you've got good coverage with the bulb on. Because if not, it'll you'll you'll see everywhere where you're thin. That's my only suggestion on that. And you can just, if it, depending on the fabric, if it's like a fabric that's really absorbent, just make sure the fabric's really clean, paint it with DIY paint till you're happy with it. And then I would just let it sit and then use like a heat gun without burning the lampshade. So be careful. I don't know what kind of lampshade you have, but you can heat set it and the fabric. And it's not like you're going to throw it in the washer anyways, but you don't have to put like sealer. I have waxed them before, but you don't have to put sealer on them. Just depends on the type of fabric. 
it's definitely an off label use. It's not what it's made for, but that's what I would do. And, and we've, we've painted lots and lots of lampshades and they, it turns out really cool. We've even painted them and stenciled them. That's even more fun. Yeah. We've done many a lampshades. So lampshades can be expensive and sometimes the lampshades that come with a lamp are just ugly, but they're the right proportions. Like finding a lampshade is the right size. Sorry. So what are you just adding that? I'm just putting this back together. I don't think we're going to get those other frames done. I'm, I think I can show them a couple of them. I don't even know if they need painted. Oh, okay. We'll do that. So we finally. We um, have these prints that we've had forever from, from, I don't, did we get these in England? Did uh, we get no, these? I, they're from England because some of them had pounds on them, but I actually found them at DI. Oh. So somebody had bought them in England. It just wasn't me. And they've been forever like on the website. Nobody's bought them. Of course, now that we show them, they're going to buy them. I need to, whatever ones you use, I got to take off the website. Yeah, because we I'm going to frame so them. if you need some matted English prints, we have Yeah, they're already matted. They look great. They're like black and white. Some but of them. But I think they'll sell better in the shop. Like this one is out of an old book that was hand colored. Heidi wants to know, is saw wash sticky enough to paint a ceramic planter or do I need salvation solution? I think so. I've used it. I mean, I've done it a lot, so... I mean, if you could see your reflection in it, then maybe not, but just be patient and let it dry all the way. Like cure time is critical. I've painted ceramics with just DIY paint and not had a problem. But if you don't let it dry in between coats, it can be an issue. And then if you're going to be putting a lot of water that'll get on the outside of the pot, then you need to use whatever sealer is appropriate for where that pot's gonna be. So hopefully that answers the question all right it's funny because i remember you were going to strip this weren't you i tried and it didn't come off it didn't like it didn't change the color of the wood at all i wanted it to look kind of like old and faded like our hutch our we did over here that and we still haven't bothered to seal by the way who knows maybe next year it took it me a year to strip it well i mean you don't want to leave raw wood exposed forever i mean we live out west it's not like it's going to get mildewy no but you want to <laughs> like protect it so you can you know, I don't know. I don't know. So. I say I'm going to do stuff and that's a giant hut. So who knows when it's going to happen? Well, we do have to clear it out and move it soon. Let's make sure there's no questions. Yeah, we do need to clear it out and move it. But that doesn't, it's winter time. So I'm not going to like clear it out and then work All on right. it outside. Loving that combo. Mm -hmm. It's like a light cream on the background here of the clock. It's a Sterling and Noble. Um, so, you know, it's a decent brand of clock. It is battery powered. Most are these days, unless you're getting them before like the forties. <laughs> I actually prefer battery operated because when they're not, I'm like, I don't know how to fix that. Yeah. We have some wind up clocks. That we got some wind up clocks while we were in the UK and they, uh, <laughs> we're like, we don't I'm know like, if they work. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it works, but I'm not going to say it works because I don't know how to actually tune this and fix it all the way. All right. Do you want to see if that stuff is dry out there, Zeb? Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure it's getting close. All right. I'm going to move this lady. Let me just throw here. a couple screws in this real fast. Let's touch up where I touched. What color am I using today, Martina? I am using Sandy Blonde, Sweetie Jane, and uh, White Swan. White Swan, yep. That is what we're using today. I'm gonna second coat. This one you didn't put out. Oh, this one has like... It's got peely paint. It's got peely paint on it, so. Sorry, right, I'm gonna second coat it and we'll see what happens. I have faith in you. You have faith in me? If you guys are local, definitely stop by the shop. I was there this morning. It's super cute. We're adding new stuff every day. Whatever doesn't sell online is going into the shop. And if it doesn't sell online, it doesn't mean it's not cute. It just means there's so much stuff that we bought in England that it's just We impossible. have enough to put in the shop. And some of the stuff looks way cuter in person. And we have a ton of gifts in the shop, like kitchen stuff and books. Okay, that's um, done. I've been carrying. If you guys are from Utah, then you know who Down East is. I'm actually, this shirt is from Down East. I'm carrying Down East uh, Basics. I have them online and in the shop. I actually just ordered some new stuff today. The power of the white paint. 
if you guys have been watching us recently and you've seen me wear a mauve sweatshirt that I basically have been living in, that's from Down East. I wish they carried other colors because it's so comfortable. Seb, when you bring those in, can you swap it for this? Oh, you one? forgot to paint the top on this. <laughs> well, I guess I'll they are the dry though. There's a little, well, this one's, this one might need. Okay. So this one needs the top painted and this one needs a little more time in the sun. Okay. It is pretty chippy. So let's see what happens when I have the second coat on. All right. This one you can take outside for me if you want. Can you, once you get that painted on the top, can you second coat this and heat gun it so I can show him this clock? I'm going to stencil this face. Yeah, if you would take that out, I'll second coat that and then I'll second coat that. Yeah. How would Sandy Blonde work on kitchen covers? Just fine. So you clean your paint. I would still prime them with Salvation Solution because that's like my favorite stuff in the entire world. And then use Sandy Blonde and then just seal it with, um, I would suggest, unless you're super sensitive to um, VOCs, because if you're sensitive to VOCs, we have other options. But I would suggest using Sweet Pickens Final Finishes we carry um, in satin and gloss. I would, it depends on the sheen that you like, but at least satin, because that's our most durable top coat, but it isn't all natural. If you want all natural, then I would use uh, DIY's Big Top to seal your cabinets with. It's still a good quality um, sealer for your cabinets, but it's just not going to be as durable as something that's got a little bit of chemicals in it. But I know that not everybody wants chemicals, so that's why we have all the things. How much paint on average do you use in a week? Oh, I'd say probably a, a couple, couple of quarts. quarts. <laughs> I, like, I like that we're on the same page. It looks like we probably use more paint than we do, but you will notice that we bring the same paint out all the time. It, if we do a large piece of furniture, that in and of itself would take about a quart, and then cumulative, we probably use another quart or two. If we don't paint a large piece, and probably like just a quart to two quarts. It really depends. We do go through a lot of paint, but we also try to use, like I said, we try to use the paint that gets damaged in shipments because we sell such a large volume of paint that we have a decent amount that gets damaged in shipping to us and we just use that. We can't sell it and I don't, I'm not going to throw it away. So, so I think this would be fun to do with clocks like if you had the letter stencils or even the IOD stamps. And you wanted to like make them custom for like a family clock or something, you could put names in them. Could you, if we, if you can find the oval wear transfer wear stencil, it might fit down in there. I'm not oh. sure if you could fit it down inside would be a little difficult. You're asking a lot. Yeah. So just find whatever stencil you want. <laughs> that stencil cabinet is a mess. It was supposed to be cleaned a while ago, but. Well, I wanted to go, when we get the studio up and going, when that, and that should be soon. Like it's all cleaned out. I just got to get power to it pretty much. Yeah. Our gals at the shop are excited for us to have the paint studio and they have cleaned our paint studio and organized everything up there. It's amazing. I think they also know if they wait for us to clean it, that it could be a long time. How much is the white clock? Which one? The one I just finished. The ones I've just finished. I don't, Caitlin, can you look on the thrift hall? I know it might kind of be buried. Caitlin can drop the links for this one that I'm going to second coat and for the one he just finished. Cause I don't believe either of them have sold. We might go a little long just cause I want to finish this clock. We have 404 people watching on a weekday. That's pretty good on YouTube. And then we have a total of 579 between Facebook and YouTube. All right, you wanted me to second coat this clock? Do you need me a heat gun? It looks pretty dry. Okay, right. Caitlin is dropping a link. So Caitlin, there's two, there's this one, and then there's the one that's just round, that's like a Sterling and Noble clock. So I have a question. Will depend like will they see the inside of this once you put it in, or is it flat? No, it's it doesn't need to be painted inside, okay. or just the outside. I just wasn't sure. I mean, I'm... on the back end, they'll see it. So maybe like right paint here? it. Yeah. 
I'll just put up a to where coat. those prongs are. They'll see it. Okay, I'm gonna put a quick coat in here so it looks a little neater. All right, and Caitlin just dropped the link to the one we finished, the Sterling and Noble clock. So that way you guys will have the both of those. I will later today when I get a chance and all these projects are all the way, all the way finished, I'll update everything that we've painted. I'll update the pictures on the website. I know people think it's weird that we list stuff before it's painted, but we used to have a lot of people that would request dibs no matter what we painted it. So doing it this way has actually it saves a lot of time and people can call dibs on stuff. They don't have to wait for us to paint it. And if people buy something that we say will be painted, we make sure it gets done like right away so it can get shipped out. Yeah, this is all the stuff that didn't sell. <laughs> That's just been waiting for us to do refinishing on it. All right. I'm gonna let you guys weigh in here. I'm gonna get this stencil on here and show you with just this in the center because I think it could be really cool and understated and then I might do like a little floral around the edge or something. Um, or let me know if you think it'd be cool just this in the middle. It might be a little plain with just this in the middle. Or I also have like some industrial over here um, that I could do like some industrial words around the edge. What about the metal birds? The metal birds will be listed this week. Yep, those are those so are from Monday's video. So those will go up on Saturday with the thrift haul in the evening, usually about 8.25 p.m. Mountain Time. That goes for sale right before the live stream on Saturday. Our normal workflow goes, we thrift on Monday. Now it's been a little different because it's been out of time, but we thrift on Monday. And anything that we thrift on Monday gets listed and marketed and sold Saturday at 8.30 Mountain Time. So it depends. Sometimes people haven't watched the video like when it was live. So that makes a little bit of a difference. But if you're watching the video when it's live, those items go for sale the following Saturday. And right. then Monday morning, we drop off everything that didn't need painted to the shop so they can ship what sold and put on the floor what um, didn't sell. And then typically by the end of the week, anything that sold that needed to be painted gets painted and we actually try really hard to have that done by no later than Thursday. And then occasionally we'll paint a few extra items that didn't sell and put those along as well. And when we do that workflow, we stay on top of everything that we thrift um, pretty well. I mean, when we go out of town or it's a holiday or something, or like when my dad passed away, like we do occasionally get behind, but that workflow has been really good for us. And it just also helps us Everything that's in our shop is online because it gets listed before it even comes in the door. And so then we don't have to spend time like, oh, that's not on the website. Oh, that's not on the website. Like it's all there. It's done every week. It took us a while when we first went to selling it online to get it all done. Um, we just did section by section in our shop until we got it all listed. But now it's all done. And so it's, I'm glad it's finished. Okay, second coat is done on this. So I got a few people use the floral on that. So it'll help the flow of the clock, uh, go industrial. Um, Lisa what? says she would stencil 12, three, six, and nine. Do we have any transfers? Like, can you mix stenciling in a transfer? Clock needs more than center stencil. I agree, Diana, I'm gonna do something more on that. I think you need to get some, some transfers. Some transfers. Mm -hmm. Let me go look. See what we got. I don't know what we got. I say that and I have no idea what's in the cupboard. So, okay. Watch that camera because it's going to go. Okay. Soon. Sorry, guys. I will be in front of the camera in a minute. I just saw that I had a bunch of drips. Well, no, it's going to change and go to sidebars soon. Oh, have we been an hour? Oh, it's 10 57. Almost. Right. Caitlin, we're probably going to go over today. So, if you have things you need to do, I'll monitor comments. I'm gonna need a drink of water. I have some brocant transfer over here. What? I did not eat breakfast. I have some brocant transfer. Okay. I like brocant. So if you guys are new here, sorry, I've got to get a cookie of milk. I'm starving. Um, if you're new here, the transfers are like really thin vinyl stickers that are made for professionals for furniture and decor. This also would have been a good candidate for some decoupage paper. 
Yeah. One of the bigger ones. Yeah, if you wanted to do the whole sheet. All right, so Bocan transfer, there's like a ton of stuff in here. So we'll see how this goes. My kids ate all the dirty dough cookies, so I'm stuck. Oh, there's something going on. Camera's off. It's like completely off. Oh. Sound Caitlin only. was just Sorry, calling guys. Me. How long has it been like that? I don't know. Try that now. Deb, see what this says. Hang on. Did you bump it when you were over there? You have, I... to, you have to quit out of this. Oh, now it says it's busy. Well, we might be done with the live stream. Can we just go to the, the camera oh, on the iPad? Hold on. All right, guys. Give me just a second here. Oh, our, we not... our webcam isn't off. We use a, Did I knock something? Yeah, it looks like you did. It's okay. I'll just change it to... No, no, don't touch. Don't touch. I didn't knock. It's all connected. Here, we're just going to go to this right here. Hi, this is the, uh, someone's, oh goodness. someone's, that is a, someone's touched it. Hang that on. That is a dirty camera. I got it. All right. I'm going to switch you spots. So that I don't know how long that was like that, but Caitlin was calling me. Wipe the camera. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know, I'm going to move. So that way you can see what Zeb's doing. I'm pretty much done. I'm so. pretty much done too. I was just going to do some transfers yeah. on this. Let um, me move this big brush. This is a weird here, You come eat your cookie over here. Me and my, I'm sorry. I was like, I thought we were going to go for a long time. So I was like, I got to eat something. My well, not if the camera. camera's going to be dumb. Yeah, we'll let Zeb finish this clock. I'm really trying to milk that camera out. I do not want to buy another camera right now. They are not I don't think, they are I feel not like I cheap. didn't bump anything. Well, when you went over there in the front, maybe. It doesn't look like anything's loose, but. Um, can you grab me some scissors, please? This poor lady's backside is like right on the camera. Let me turn it around. Here. There you go. There we are. There we are. All right, so brocant. We've got lots of options to do like some floral around the edges. Um, we even have like some butterflies. There's a few elements on here. This is a good angle anyway. This is like getting them up close in the action. I think I might do some butterflies and floral. What if I just did butterflies where the uh, the 12... Uh, three, six, and nine go. Yeah. I said that's cute. Did you forget the scissors? You asked for scissors? I did. And you said, sure. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Caitlin says she does think I maybe bumped something. We'll see. It's fine. It's part of going live and doing a live stream. And you guys get a different angle. So you get to see my all my copper that's right there that I'm going to sell so I can buy a stove. And all the copper that's on top of my cabinets that I'm not selling. And luckily, the pantry door is closed, so you guys can't see the hot mess that is. It's Eliza not, did try to organize a pantry, and it's not bad. but It's just like chock just full canning of jars. canning jars Can that food. we filled all summer that I need to take to the basement, which is also happening on the Jamie and Zeb. I feel like some people have some pretty high expectations of my organizing skills. They're like, can't wait to see how you organize that and do the lighting. I need some ideas. It's literally just a, a lot of people shop. mention that. I'm like, well, the lighting is, I might like wire some lights that are there, but I'm not going to fix those walls that are open right now yet. So it's going to so be, think... it's going to be like a, Caitlin just linked this statue. And in case you're wondering, this statue is going to get a second coat stippled on, and then it'll get clear and dark wax. There's a whole and clock then face. Zeb's using the brocant transfer. Um, so if Caitlin, if you have a okay, the computer's so. like really far away, but I can mostly read it. I'm just looking for they more. They said, uh, Counting Life says, to be honest, you guys are more clear on your computer camera. You were a bit fuzzy. Oh. Maybe it's our cords. Could be. It could be a myriad of things. But also, you're on Facebook for whatever reason. Facebook's always blurry. If hopefully, you ask Facebook me. doesn't hate me, but YouTube generally has clearer resolution. Facebook will dumb it down for streaming. I don't know why. I mean, I'm now I got to check it out and see what it looks like on YouTube. I'm going to go on Facebook. Oh, yeah. It's nice and clear. It actually is clearer on Facebook than it is on like our computer screen. Gonna have to figure this out. So technically, the way we stream, we could have multiple like angles. multiple angles and flip through them. But then that that would I just 
maybe next year. It's a lot to worry about and, and try to paint at the same time. What color is the candlestick? Um, the candlestick and the statue are sandy blonde, which is a uh, DIY right paint here. color. It doesn't have a built-in sealer like the crockery, so I will come back and seal them. The candlestick will actually get white, um, either a white dry brush or at least white on the detail. I'm just waiting for it to dry to bring out all the fun detail, and it'll get clear wax, possibly dark wax. I haven't decided. When I do candlesticks like that, where I'm charging like $36.95 for one candlestick, I usually try to do like a fun paint finish. Well, since I have this up and you're just the one working while I'm monitoring comments, I'm going to share this in our Jamie Ray Vintage group on Facebook. Um, do we have a transfer stick? That is a good question. I know where some typically are. I think I've got a bee and three butterflies. So I think I'm going to do this up at the 12 o'clock position. And then I've got these two that are kind of more like brownish and reddish toned that are going to go at three and nine. And then I've got this one for my six o'clock. It's kind of more moth like. It's tr I'm not used to like, like, where's the camera at? <laughs> the only thing is, does it, are, are our microphones still picking up? Yeah, or? they're still the mics. Okay. Yeah, that's separate. I, I don't know how this works, clearly. I'm not, uh, I'm not typically the, the technical support. Whenever I have to do technical stuff, when I'm not with Zeb, I'm, I'm always at a loss because it's not, he usually takes charge of that kind of stuff. And it's funny because I was at Debbie's, they were getting the stream yard ready to go live for the new paint inlay. And they were asking me questions and I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> I usually can make stuff work, but it doesn't mean that I know how it works. I just keep trying till something works. So I may have messed this up. This paint's still, it's cool to the touch. So it's not all the way dry. But. I like your shirt, Jamie. What size am I wearing? Um, I think a medium. Can you double check? And I do have a base layer underneath it because it's kind of see-through. That's a large. Oh, it's a large. Okay, yeah. And I think it's a large, but I feel like I could wear a medium because it's pretty. Is that a down east loose. one? It's down east. The yeah. down east stuff, I feel like, runs a little big. It kind of depends. I am going to what I ordered this morning. If you guys are like me, and sometimes you want, like, I like to wear what's called like a shell. It's like a tight undershirt, so that way if I bend over, things aren't hanging out, especially on camera, or if something's low cut, or in this case, it's got it's like a sweater that has holes in it. I've always worn down east base layers. I've probably worn them for 15 years. And I just ordered some black and white that we will be carrying um, up to a 2X on the website. So that should be up soon. Mostly mm -hmm. I just buy things that I want to wear and hope that other people like them too. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can uh, get this a little drier before we right. put this next one on. Hey, Bree that's watching while she ships oh that's somebody a... Catherine, bought my french style candlestick well i guess i better make oh. it good maybe i'll second coat it that one is fun it had the marble in the middle didn't it or yeah it was like a weird granite. marbly type finish it wasn't real marble but it definitely needs to be second coated i'll get that done so somebody i am bought not it, so i have to finish it i'm not going to heat gun this one that i already have on here i'm just going to let it sit for a minute now that I pressed it on, we'll see what happens. Hey, we're up to 525 people watching now that we're people on this, like angle. this angle. Thank you. Caitlin's dropped all of the clothes to JRV Closet. We call it JRV Closet because it's literally like I pretty much owned everything that's in there. I could uh, drop that camera down. Drop it down? What do you mean? Like we could get this angle with the big camera. Well, it's it's not very flattering. That's why I like it up here. You just need to not do this with your head. Me too. So I just got a new driver's license picture. It was actually convenient. I found out my license had been expired for two months on the exact day that I got my hair done. I have never in my life had my hair and makeup done on the driver's license picture day. So it was really, karma was working for me. And so he takes my picture and I was like, wait a second, how many chins did I have? He's like, ma'am, I've already sent it off. I feel like that guy gets a lot of people that are like, hey, let me let me look and see what my picture looks like. Yeah, he's and he's out. like, we ain't doing selfies here. You're done. <laughs> Luckily, it turned out all right. I mean, not that it really matters, but I was mostly being funny. He didn't handle my sarcasm. 
All right. That's done until it dries, and then I'll base coat it or white put the white on there. That base coat is done. What is the shirt called? Oh, that is a that's a good question. All these hard questions today. It's called it's a sweater, I think. So I'm putting these directly on the DIY paint. I have not distressed anything, so there was no dust. Just know it will work better with your transfer. And I may, you may even watch me struggle here a little bit. If you seal the porous type paints, DIY paint is very porous. If you seal them first, oh, my, my bee is a little off to the side. It's okay. It's natural. Um, this is called the Arlie V-neck pullover. I think Caitlin already linked it. But if you ever want to look up um, anything that I say is from Down East, when Ivy puts it into the website, she puts the word down east, all one word at the end of the listing. So that way you can just search down east and you can find any of the down east clothing. Uh, we're probably going to start carrying more of them. They're a local Utah company. It is not made in the USA, but it is a Utah company. And I can trust their quality because I've been wearing their stuff for a long time. They just recently opened up wholesale. They just had retail stores before. So I've been excited to carry them. Because anybody on here that has a store, have you had to order wholesale clothes and they come in and you're just like, you don't, it looks great on, on the picture and then it comes in and you're donating it to charity. Um, so that's part of the reason I've kind of slowed down on carrying clothing because I just didn't know what I was getting and I'm pretty picky about stuff and down East so far, everything's been good. So I'm just going to keep ordering from them and it ships really quick because it only goes from Salt Lake to here. So that's convenient. Usually it ships like the next day. All right, I'm gonna see if there's any questions. We have a Down East magazine in Maine. I think it's probably not the same. Let's see. Okay, so we're getting there. I feel like it's still pretty plain, but once I put it in that frame, oh, can you what? Can you, you dry that? You could put floral in between. Yeah, I could. I feel like it needs that. You think so? Yeah, you could take this one and kind of cut it. Well, so. since we have some extra time this morning, do you want to heat gun that and wet distress it for heat me? Heat gun what? This. Yes. So do I can we, do we have extra time? Or are we together. taking extra time? I mean, what's your schedule look like this afternoon? Mine's full of... I I'm need actually... To, my schedule looks like I need to winterize the boat. I need to finish the basement. I need to get the big printer down in the basement so that we have room in the garage. Um, I'm actually happy to paint because... I have been listing my poor little fingers because I do all the work on my phone. I have been listing stuff from the England Hall for days now. So I anything that's not that, sign me up. I will still do it because I need to get it listed. But I'm to the point in that project where I'm, I'm over it. The good news is the stuff's all really cute. And so that makes me excited. But it is. I mean, of so items. since we don't have anything we have to go like rush off and do today, Typically, what we'll do is we'll turn the camera off and we're like off to the races to go do something else for a minute while we let the paint dry. But today, I don't think we have anything, no appointments scheduled. Eliza has cheer, but she didn't ask me to pick her up, so she probably has a ride. Oh, well, and we could cut it by then. That's like noon. <laughs> uh, we What happens is if we don't have anything to do afterwards, we turn the camera off and we're still here painting. So we may as well hang out and paint with you guys. We got... 560 people watching right now between i should say between facebook and youtube because if you're on facebook right now you're like hey 560 people here we use an app called Streamyard, and it allows us to go live in multiple platforms all right so did you what did you want me to do once this is dry you it just to... needs a wet distress okay is this what you're using the wet distress with Sure. Drop cloth towel. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try to go soft because this was shiny metal before. Yeah, it's not a terrible paint job underneath. So if you get a lot coming through, it'll no, be No, I fine. didn't hate it. It had kind of an almost crackled finish to it. So I feel like these are the wrong style floral. Like I don't, like if I cut them apart, I don't know that they're going to look great. Individual elements. I like. Oh, no. Like, so I was thinking like, see how this one just take like just that portion. Oh, and put it and in there. And then just like just little bits. Gotcha. And then you could even take like just that portion and put oh, it here. Oh, you know what? I could do this, this, and then these little ones in down, ah. like down here. I have full faith in you that you can make that transfer work for you. 
we'll see. I feel like we're out of practice. Like we we didn't paint anything for twelve days. I mean, it would take a long. It would. I think it would take a couple of years for me to be out of practice on painting stuff. At this point, <laughs> like we've both racked up thousands of hours of painting thrifted <laughs> items. It takes what? How many? Ten thousand hours to be a to perfect yeah. a skill. We yep. were talking about that the other day because the Fortnite keeps track of how many hours you've played. And I think Brody said he was at like 2,000 something. I was like, well, you only have 8,000 more hours to go until you're an a, a to, expert. And he's like, what are you talking about? I said it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. So like if you want to be a really good piano player or whatever you're after, like about 10,000 hours is the mark where you can kind of just start doing it at a really high level without having to think about it too much. That reminds me of that song. Don't they have a song like 10,000 hours and 10,000 more? I don't know. I don't I can't sing, so. Yeah. Let me see if there's any questions. Hey, Veronica. Some people are having to hop off. We've been on here a little bit. It's all right. I usually will share all the finished stuff um in stories or on a post just depends on how much time i have we did do a really cute box i loaded it up yesterday but you'll have to check the website um we used our christmas folk stencil oh yeah that and we did the christmas great. box which i think would be so cute if somebody bought it and put like a christmas tree you'd have to amend it to get it to fit in there but It says you could put a little flower next to the bee to help it be more centered. Yeah. And bees do like flowers. Our flowers are all pretty well dead here. We have a lot of work to do at the shop. So if you go by the shop, don't judge me. Yeah, Just enjoy what's inside the store and give me a couple weeks to deal with the outside of the store. Okay, now it's dry. What do you want me to do next? Um, did you? It needs waxed. Clear wax? You got it. So if you notice, I'm like not peeling the, the plastic transfer piece off of here. Um, I'm just kind of letting it sit because my paint is porous and I didn't seal it beforehand. So I'm hoping it'll all just meld together after I press it on here. So you're worried that your transfers might not release? Well, you can definitely feel it's chalky. But if you didn't distress it, they'll be okay as long as they are dry. Like if I was gonna do it, I would wait. Like and well, do it when the I right put way, this one on, dry. the paint was still cool to the touch. Oh well, that one you might have screwed up. <laughs> yeah. So see, I'm waiting for it to dry out. That's not how that works. <laughs> are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Where are you getting your facts? My 10,000 hours, that's where I'm getting my packs. Because <laughs> I have been where you are right now, hoping that I didn't screw it up by not waiting. So if you guys are doing this at home, just let your paint dry overnight. Or at least give it a few hours. All right. What did you use this for? Can I use this to wipe this off? That's uh, probably wax. Probably. I'm just going to wipe back this wax. High chance. I'm not like buffing it. I'm just pulling it back so it's not chunky. You can come back the next day and like buff it and make it shiny. I like this with the dark coming through on the edges of this. Yeah, I think that clock, clock. it's got like some blue and some gray and some different it. things going on. See the dark kind of peeking through. That turned out pretty good. All right, this is done, sir. I think this is going to look a lot better once I put the hands on it. Yeah, no, that's good. I like, I'm glad we decided to like go all the way around. I like the mix of stencil and transfers. It's also a great way to get, like work through some scraps. Cheryl says, nice job. I noticed you use wax for teapots over big top, top coats. Um, so I use top coats a lot, but on decor wax is just really simple. And it's not so particular. Like you have to be careful with top coats. You paint it, then you can't touch it until it dries all the way. When you're doing a live show like this, it's, there's a lot of touching. 
and moving and you're doing things quickly. And so wax works well. But if I'm not live, sometimes I'll just, if I have like this whole space to work and it's just me, then I'll brush on top coats. It really just depends on what I want it to look like. And wax looks good. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the we way. We do like wax. I like the way it sit, like as it dries, it gets like a matte finish. You can buff it to a high sheen, but we rarely do that. Ain't nobody got time to buff stuff. All right, my milk paint is getting chippy out here. Oh yeah, let's show them the milk paint. All right, I'm gonna have to see if this one comes off because this this little plastic on my butterfly, I didn't trim it close, and it's it's getting in the way. I don't think these frames are getting done. So I'm gonna move them out of the way. Yeah. Oh, look, it's peeling just like it's supposed to do. Like a boss. Oh, we lost a little bit of antenna. Why don't we just take these frames that we have here, up, and we can work on those on our Saturday thrift haul. Okay. We'll take these. So we have these matted. Oops, you guys are over there. Matted prints that we sell at the shop. Were you just showing it to the other camera? Yeah, I was showing it to the other camera. I'm going to take them out of stock. We still have more if you want to buy them, but I'm going to take those out of stock so we have them ready for Saturday. All right, that butterfly, this one turned out great we lost a little bit of the antenna but i ain't gonna sweat that so my milk paint is chipping off as expected and then i'm just going to clear wax this now there's a lot chipping off on the top you do not want to use a liquid sealer when your milk paint is chipping like this because you will have no milk paint left i am going to slightly wet distress some of the detail but be careful i'm not going to wet distress the whole thing because water makes it chip, which is why I'm not going to use a liquid sealer, and it's already very, very chippy. All right, I guess it's time to start seeing if the rest of these are going to come off. Because we don't want the leave the grid system on there. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. I'll show this up to you up close. I'm just clear waxing it. So a little pro tip, if you do have super chippy paint, clear wax is definitely what you want to do. If I were to use like a liquid sealer, this would chip and never stop because it would just reactivate that paint. And this is already super chippy. I'm just using this little screwdriver to get up underneath here so I'm not scratching the paint with my finger now because it's not sealed or cured up yet. It's still a little cool to the touch even. I like this super chippy because this resembles like an old ceiling tile. And what do old ceilings tiles do? They chip off. Uh oh. Hmm. I'm losing some of it. No, look what you did. Well, you can distress it a little bit too. No, I'm losing like half a wing. Oh, I don't know if I can help you with that. You might have to sand and repaint that off camera in the walk of shame. I'm gonna wipe this back. Now, if you don't like super chippy old paint, this is not going to be something you're going to be very impressed with. I feel like I got to just close that ahead of time. But if you like stuff that looks authentically old, then you're going to like this. Oops, sorry, I'm whacking you in the head. It's okay. I'm not used to the webcam. Ta-da! And people ask me, they're like, how can you have more control over the milk paint? If you use straight up milk paint, it is what it is. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You can use farmhouse right. finishes if you don't chip as much. We lost a whole antenna in the two sides of the wings. And this is not, this is like not going to stick. It's got paint on it. I think I can get it off. Oh, he's going to glue it on there. That's what happens when you don't let your paint dry. Give me your wing. Oh, did you get it? Mm -hmm. Lick it a little. No. Reactivate that paint. Good enough. We'll distress it. Okay. She's doing good. Hey, hey, hey. What about the other one? You think you can get that? I feel like that's pushing it. I just did some precision there. That's pretty good. This is not like guaranteed to work, guys. Way off label, guys. Just 
just what I'm doing is I'm just taking this little edge up because the paint was not dry yet. And I'm just going to stick this back down on the paint. When the paint dries, it'll stick down. All right. Oh, careful. Okay. You could also like decoupage it on if it doesn't stick. Yeah, that's my beginning a liquid sealer over the top. That is not straight. Hold on. Just use your little pinchy fingers. It's like delicate precision. Hey. All right. I'm not worrying about the antenna. No, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't much. sweat it. All right. <laughs> butterfly's back. So I just used my little fingernail and just went under one side and then very delicately pulled it back. This is ready for someone's greenhouse. And luckily that's going to, doesn't have like, that has like glass over it. Yeah. So and it'll have the clock phase. We're over good. It, or the, the hands of the clock. I've actually never successfully done that before, so <laughs> that's what women do wear fixers. Can you use a tiny paintbrush to do the antenna? Maybe, but honestly, once this is all done, you're not going to notice. And I probably could try my little thumbnail trick for that, but the problem is like getting it to adhere just right. It's such a delicate little piece. All right, I'm going to second coat this and put this outside. I just did Jamie's trick with the screwdriver instead of my fingernail, but before I peeled it off, worked good. What trick? Where you were kind of peeling it off with your fingernail. Oh yeah. Well, you don't really have fingernails because you bite your nails. Yeah. I sometimes bite mine. What nails happens up. is they get snaggy before I get around to like trimming them and I can't handle the snag. I'm actually surprised. Oh, I have a little bit of pain on my hair. Right, I'm going to go check that little pediment piece I was working on. Oops. All right, we're winning. They're fighting me a little bit, but I knew it was going to happen. Do we have any, like, sandpaper in here? I don't know if we have any here. I know we got a ton in the garage. Okay. We stocked up last time we went. Sorry. Sorry if that door was loud. Can you see what comments are? I haven't been uh, tiny. I haven't really been watching. And he says, who's going to look that close, yeah. right? Some people. The bee came off great. Now, just know, like, typically these come off really easy if your surface is prepped properly, like a, a slick, sealed surface. Or wait overnight for it to dry, or at least a couple hours. Or at least a couple hours. <laughs> Make sure it's not, like, cool. This is live TV, man. Well, that's, like, a lot of chippy there. So the ones where I waited for it to dry a little more after I heat gunned it are working really well. They're coming off easy. So this stuck a little bit more than I wanted to in a few places. I'm, having, I'm just using a sandpaper, but I don't want to wet distress it because it's pretty chippy in some places. So sandpaper is going to work fine and it will uh, get nice and smooth. I don't love this big chip here though. It's just like a little bit more than I want it. And that's actually not from the milk paint. That's from the paint that was chipping underneath it. All right, so look at that. We got most of that floral off of there. wonder if it'll just keep chipping. Maybe. Oh, I'm going to go put that out in the sun. You guys get the idea with this. I'm going to keep working on this. It's a little bit of the whites coming through. A little bit of the paint is chipping off. It's supposed to look like old salvage, so. Is that what you're getting? I mean, that's what the goal is. They have the best old salvage over in the UK because it just rains all the time on everything. I'm sure like Pacific Northwest, um, back east here in the States, I'm sure you guys get lots of, I mean, the humidity and the weather just going to rust and and uh, patina all the things. Well, there's a few spots I got a heat gun. The Facebook share winners are Sally Lee Lockard, Jan Marlett Cook, and Caitlin, type the names out. If that's you, email info at jamierayvintage.com and we will send you happy mail. Okay. 
congratulations to those winners. Yep, Caitlin put them exactly how the names are. We do it on Facebook because we can, uh, YouTube doesn't help us. YouTube doesn't show us who shared anything. But Facebook does. And we try to keep track. Oh, I got chippy paint in that clear wax. Oh, I might wow. have to use a different clear wax or pick all that out. You shouldn't, if you have really chippy paint, maybe don't dip directly into your wax. Any. All right, I'm almost done. Then I'm going to throw this together and we'll we'll wrap it up here. All right, I'm just going to keep working on other stuff. Do you have, just so you know, you missed a bunch on this gal. It's fine. I could come back later for her. Okay. Or you can, you bought her. I remember, I actually specifically remember being like, you get to paint her. I was going to paint her and then you grabbed it and started going. So I was like, well, look what's oh, happening. Well, now. you know me. When I get started painting, nothing is safe. If you don't want me to paint something, you kind of got to be like, don't paint that. And then even then, I don't know. That's the girl we're talking about there. It actually looks like a mother with two daughters. She's no longer a girl. She's a ma'am. Although sometimes I get called ma'am. I'm like, do I really look like a ma'am? I guess so. I'm just dry brushing kind of the detail on this to bring it out. So if you're new here and you don't know what dry brushing is, I dip. I didn't even have, I have like basically no paint here. And I dip my brush in, wipe it, and then I'm just dry brushing and then just hitting the highlights. If you have a lot of paint on your brush, it doesn't work. And you can dry brush the whole thing, or in this case, I'm just kind of hitting a few spots because I don't want it to be overwhelmingly white i don't think i'm going to distress this main reason being i don't want to pull those numbers that are underneath the roman numerals underneath out i also since this is underneath on a clock face i'm not going to wax that that'll cure up the next 30 days that paint will dry hard so if you're new here, we do thrift flips for our website at jamierayvintage.com. We also sell all of these products that you need for thrift flips there. And then we have a retail store in Lehigh, Utah. This candlestick was $5 and we sold it. It actually sold while we were live for $36.95. So a lot of people are like, well, can you really make a living off of thrift flipping? And I'm here to tell you if you paint enough stuff, <laughs> you absolutely can. If you paint enough stuff. It requires volume. <laughs> All right, Caitlin dropped that link. We're about to bring this home. Zeb's just washing the glass. I've already waxed this piece, so once he gets the glass in, are we going to seal the top of this? Did you want me to? No, I'm not going to seal that. Okay. It's going to be under it's glass. It's going to be under the glass. And actually, the spots where I pushed it, like the paint's dried all the way now. Also, I don't want it to, um, like, the numbers to come through distressing it or waxing it. Yeah, that's it. true. That worked. I'm actually really shocked that that did work. Worked good. I didn't think it would. I was like, what have I got to lose? Caitlin just dropped the link to the shop. If you guys are from Utah, please tell your friends and family. The shop is like our baby and Maria and Kazaya and Ivy and Caitlin. We work really hard at like making it look cute. And it's a fun, unique place to shop. Every time I go, I'm like, oh, I would shop here. <laughs> it's taken a lot of years to figure out how to run a store. Fun fact, I uh, never wanted to own a store. In fact, I didn't even want to have a booth rental. I always just wanted to sell out of my house. And life just kind of came along and moved along and opportunities presented themselves. And now I have a store and I love it. <laughs> Who knew? Okay. It's also a really pretty building because since it's an old church. Did I put that in right? Back of that. Yeah, you need to put the you need to put the hands on. Oh yes, watch out for that. Let me pick out the paint chips for my wax wipe. <laughs> so yeah, pro tip: if you've got uh, chippy paint, don't just dip your wax brush straight in there. 
I'll just put this right here and I'll use this to wax the other stuff later. Boy, this thing fits in here tight. Well, you don't want it falling out. Nope. I'm going to break it after it's done because I forgot to put the hands on it. <laughs> we'll do that. We've been working on this project for a hot minute. I don't know if we charged it enough money. I don't even remember what we sold it for. Mm. I don't either. All right, I'm all, I've almost got all the milk paint chips out of here. And then the next thing I got to do is clean the brush. That's got milk paint all over. And I'm going to wait to wax the other two things I painted until I'm done with everything. And then I'll just use this wax that I smeared right here on the drop cloth. Oh, it might be time to get a new wax brush. Yeah, I think so. That one's... I've been using this one for a few years. A few hundred projects. <laughs> Look, Caitlin, it's time for a new wax brush. Did you just break that? Yeah, it just like fell apart. Seb says he wants to use a bigger brush, but I have loved this little pointy sister. It has done well for us after that chippy paint. <laughs> it just like blew up on here. It's worked for a lot of projects. All right, can you see where comments are? Sure. Well, usually I'm over there reading them. Cheryl says she shares us with TV executives. Oh, well, thanks, Cheryl. Thank you. We actually did have a company looking into us, but we found out, like, not a lot of people know this. But I was reading something the other day, and we've heard from a lot of people, like, unless your show gets picked up for multiple seasons, mm -hmm. um, it sometimes costs more to do the show, like, because you can't do other things. Like, because we, if we were filming a show, it'd be very hard to keep our YouTube channel up. It would be hard to keep our social media going. And it winds up costing them quite a bit. So if somebody wanted to pick us up, we would not be cheap because you guys are amazing and watch so much of our videos. It's kept us going for all these years. I wouldn't want to do it otherwise. And I don't even know if I would, because I like YouTube. The only thing that's hard about doing YouTube is it does take a lot of time to edit all the content. But I'm getting better. Zeb's getting faster. All right, this is done. I thought I was gonna do dark wax, but we have a little bit of some of the base coat peeking through. So I'm actually just gonna lightly distress it to bring back some of that base coat and then I'm not gonna dark wax it. And yes, you can distress after you wax, it's not gonna hurt anything, especially on home decor. But I just wanna pull off just a little bit. This will get lighter once the wax cures up, but I like the contrast. How are you good, how are you going with getting those hands back on there? We're just about there. All right. I'm going to pull up the clock that you finished earlier. We've got a few pieces outside drying that I'm going to leave outside. I'll bring together what we have completed on this painted palooza. We've got a bunch of projects well on their way to completion. Oh, Eliza does need to be picked up. Okay. But we're almost done, so we're good. So what I'm thinking, Zeb, is I might do a similar type finish that's on this candlestick on that. There we go. I'll finish putting this back together go. once it's all done. You guys see? Thanks for joining us for Paint of Palooza. If you guys need paint products or thrift flips, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. See you guys later. Bye, you guys.